All right, folks. We have started day two at the Mr. Crappie Invitational. They're about to announce boats. They're going to go in reverse order. We're boat number 53. And as we know, there is no rain today. This will be by far the best day that we've had. It's the best day fish-wise. Let's go. Man, folks, I'll tell you, the, the, the mood and the vibe of day two in the morning was electric. You didn't know what was going to happen. All you knew was there was, I believe, 56 boat, boats that were fishing on day two. And you could tell the difference immediately of how fewer the anglers were uh, versus the first day. Folks, this is exciting. Our gift right now to ourselves is that we get the fish Table Rock Lake with no rain. That's kind of the way we're going into this day. Minus the fog, we expect to have a decent day of weather and we think we're going to need to perform no matter what. Our goal on day number two, without a doubt, is to do better than day number one. That is their first goal. And boy, we're gonna give 110%. So buckle up, folks. Marcus Garrison and Matt Aviano, the Italian Stallion. This for Crappie Invitational. He'll sell it for half price right now. 53. I don't think Wally's approved that. How about boat number 50? Kevin and Charlie Rogers. All right, folks, there you go. That's the call. We're off with some foggy, man. You can't even see the boats about 200 yards away. Complete fog. So we're gonna... I don't know if it's a good plan or not, but we're gonna take our time getting out there. These boats are fast. That's the only thing that bothers me about that plan, but regardless. All right, guys, thanks. No joke when I say that was the scariest ride out to a spot I've ever been a part of. Insane, scary. Yikes. Well, we made it. Getting geared up. I'm fishing with the tickle fry, dirty milk, slash your head. We chose this spot because every time we've been here, we've caught big fish. We've only caught probably about three or four fish here, but every one of them has been big. So it's a small spot, quick stop. Good choice considering the fog. It's our first spot on our run. All right, folks, sit back and relax and enjoy this video. This is day two. Our only goal at this point really is we, of course, want to get better than we did first day, but our goal is to get in the top 25. We want to get up on that stage. We want to we want to experience all of you what you can experience at a Mr. Crappie Invitational. So that's, that's our goal. Our first spot was fantastic. I think we ended up pulling four fish out of this area. Unfortunately, they were about 0.84 uh, to one pound fish. That's the kind of fish that Table Rock had been giving off. But we're about to make our first move, and we have some exciting things that happen during this day. We get our first camera boat, and uh, that was just a great experience. So uh, sit back, relax. Do me a favor and subscribe as you're watching this. We've got about 17 minutes of just great fun on day two of Mr. Crappie Invitation. Back over. Over across this thing right here. Let's go over there. Quick. Over there. I think I'm gonna turn that one off. That's not overall our first spot didn't really pan out the way we wanted to we had four keeper fish in the boat but they were all small but that was the plan we were going to stay there for roughly around 40 minutes and then we we're going to go just right across the the waterway go to the next shoreline across which we thought we had more fish for sure and we expected to pick up the balance of those seven here very quickly and then hopefully of course run into some bigger fish Keeper fish. Black nose. Well, yeah, it's still a dink, but it's our dink. Black nose.
rest of the black Good one? Yep. Best fish of the day so far, Marcus. At some point he'll learn to show off his fish. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> well, welcome! I said welcome! <laughs> we hope we can! So this is exciting because day two, we have a camera boat that has rolled up on us and they've decided they want to take some footage. And I'll tell you what, I am on YouTube for the last X amount of years and I tell you what, this was exciting stuff to have a boat there interested in seeing what we were doing. Hopefully we can give them some good footage and uh, the first time. So very exciting. I can tell you right now that it is, it definitely puts another level of pressure on you to catch fish. You want to give them some good footage. So I knew right away that we wanted to catch some fish for them and make sure that we could give them what they came for. So very nice guys. They got, you know, within probably about 40 feet of us sometimes when we were fishing. But honestly, I don't think that bothered us at all. It actually probably put us in a different frame of mind. Wasn't so focused on the tournament as we were about giving them some good footage. So uh, sit back, relax, we'll watch this because um, you just don't see it very often. You know that these guys have camera boats on them, but for me, I, it was just, it was my element. I loved it. I was talking to them. I was trying to explain to them on the yeah, microphone exactly what and, I was uh, doing. Video, and uh, just a every great time. experience, tournament experience that we have, we share. We let people know what it's like to be a crappie tournament angler. So right now we're just fishing roughly around 12, 14 foot down. And uh, with a split shot and a jig, we use jink, primarily jinkle fishing jigs and baits. Uh, we like to run that right over the crappie's forehead, basically, and see if we can get a reactive bite. So that's what we're going to try here. You you got the running on. These fish are... We've been catching them all in all depths. Actually, this week is kind of fun. These are really deep. These are really roughly around 24. Admit the start off with the camera boat there was kind of slow, and I was like getting nervous. I was like, "Come on, we got to be able to catch a fish in front of this camera boat." I had heard Matt Rogers talk about it. Other guys talk about how they have a camera boat there and they can't boat a fish. I get it now completely. You almost think like it's a uh, it's a uh, jinx almost, so to speak. But we put a ton of fish in the boat. Actually, when these guys are here, you're about to see. But the start was kind of rough. Jinko fishing bait, monkey milk, jekyll fry. One of us right here. That's me. That's a good fish. You got that on audio, that. Saved him twice. <laughs> this boy in action. <laughs> They're probably 11. We'll keep them. Right there, folks. Right there. Mr. Crappie Invitational. Woo! We'll keep it. Now it's 24 foot down. <laughs> but what was funny, if you heard that, watching it come towards us, I don't know which one it was, Marcus or I, but 
That's a good fish. That's probably one of our biggest today. You see that, guys? <laughs> take, just take, take out one of the small ones. All right, well, the fun had to end with the camera crew, and we did enjoy ourselves. We caught probably a total of 10 fish in front of them. They actually used some of the footage in the promo for day three, which was really awesome to see. So, enjoyed it. Definitely a great experience, but here's the deal. They roll away. We decide we're going to stroll down this uh, shoreline just a little bit further, and lo and behold, within five minutes, we pick up one of our big fish of the day. Camera boat leaves and we get a monster. Woo! Nice. Hmm. Nice fish. Camera boat leaves. First fish after the camera boat. Bam! I think there's bigger fish than this on this pot. That is a freaking table rock slab. So after being rewarded for, with a beautiful day on Table Rock Lake, and folks, it is just a beautiful lake, it was time to head in and see where we stood. Honestly, folks, when we were going in, we thought that was the end of it. Our, our day was done. Uh, that was kind of the, the, the frame of mind. We were happy. We were excited that we got to fish Table Rock Lake on a beautiful day. But at the end of the day, we felt that our weight was not going to be, wasn't going to match up to what we needed to to get in the top 25. But had a great day. And we'll just see how it all mixes up or how it all ends up here shortly. We're going to take you to the weigh-in process. Should be fun. All right, well, we just got done. Uh, I guess my thought is that we probably did a little, not quite as good as we did yesterday. We've, uh, we're missing one big fish, to, I think, to get to where we were yesterday. But uh, we tried it, we gave it 110%. And uh, I'm gonna show you the way in here shortly. 53. 53. Put a fork in us. Same as yesterday, gentlemen, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I came real close to that. <laughs> All right, I'll help you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I got him? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're friendly. We doubled the first place prize from 40000 to 80000 We doubled the purse from 100000 to 200000 She was asleep. They didn't even How bad is your truck? How bad is your truck? All right, you guys don't Look at this man. Next team. It's Jerry Hancock and Paul O'Beer. That's right. <laughs> they need 9.39 to take the lead. 9.39. Here we go. That's 7.83 yesterday. Seven in the bag today. Jerry Hancock and Paul O'Beer. Wow. Wally. New leader. Woo. <laughs> A 10 pound bag. Two days total is 15.20. <laughs> nice job, guys. Man, we're going to be close. 15.20. <laughs> nice job. Matt Maviano and Marcus Garrett sit next to Wayne. 
right. Matt Maviano and Marcus Garrison came into today in 39th place. 10, or excuse me, they're sitting in 39th place. They had 7.71 on day one to take the lead. They need 10.73. Got a limit of crappie in there? A limit worth. Nice job. 7.9 snakes has got you in eighth place. You'll fish on championship Saturday. Let's see some crappie right here, fellas. Now, hey, Matt. Your social media, we can watch you, man, because you put out a lot of good stuff. What's the, I, want you, I want you to plug your social media real quick. Three pound fishing, folks. Check it out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. There we go. Matt Mabiano, good job. You guys caught him up today. Let's see some fish. And that has got them sitting in eighth place, staring down the barrel of $80,000 on the end of this thing. Nice job, guys. Here's your weight ticket. How about that, folks? We make the top 25. We're sitting in 20th place. I'll tell you what, every day we've come up to the, the weigh-in, we didn't know we'd make it to the next day, and uh, we're kind of surprising ourselves. Folks, we are ecstatic to be in this position. I can tell you this, that after the top 25 were announced, there was just electricity in the air uh, between the 25 anglers. We took photos. Wally gave a great presentation on the importance of uh, promoting our sport and our and our the people that actually support us, our sponsors. And I just can't say enough good things about Wally and this event. And it was just, I knew it was going to be a tough night of sleep. What can I tell you? So very exciting. Thanks for watching, folks. Stick with me. The next episode will be the final day of the Mr. Crappie Invitational 20. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.